Welcome back to the garage. It's time for another rip through the token teardown bay. If you're new, here's how we do it. We roll a crypto project in, throw it up on the lift and check every bolt to see what's really under the hood. Is this thing a legit race tune machine or just an economy hatchback pretending to be an SRT? Before we grab the torque wrench, smash that like button, tap follow. We just roared past 11,000 on TikTok, 6,000 on YouTube's coming up fast and 20,000 is square in our sights. Catch the pit crew on Facebook and Instagram too. All right, visor down. Let's fire up today's teardown. A cash network, ticker AKT. Think of Akash as the Airbnb of cloud compute. Instead of renting someone's spare bedroom, you're booking spare server horsepower, especially high-end GPUs, and up to 80% off with the big dogs at Amazon, Google, or Microsoft charge. For devs, AI shops, and gamers, that's like getting track day performance for junkyard prices. Now, who's running the show? Greg Osuri is at the wheel, a 25-year open source veteran and founder of Angel Hack, which blew up as the world's biggest hackathon circuit. Adam Bazanich runs the drivetrain as CTO, a security and networking ace with patents on the board. Both are fully public, docs, and actually show up at conferences. No drama, no founder ghosting, just steady laps and open GitHub commits. Tokenomics, this is your fuel system. There's a max supply of 388 million AKT, about 275 million circulating now. Inflation is roughly 17% per year, but tapers down over time. AKT pays for compute, secures the network through staking, and lets holders vote on upgrades. The risk? Inflation is a leaky fuel line. Adoption has to outrun dilution. Most early investor tokens are already vested, so no big cliffs looming. On the tech side, Akash is built on the Cosmos SDK, runs IBC cross-chain lanes, and flips the script with a reverse auction. Providers bid down the price until a buyer says sold. Deployments run inside Docker and Kubernetes, so devs can port over from AWS without rewiring the whole car. Average deploy time is just about two minutes. Blink and you'll miss it. They've passed security audits and have zero major exploits on record. Yeah, let's talk adoption. Akish has seen over 260,000 app deployments so far with more than 70 providers worldwide, including big data center names like Equinix Metal. Real customers are AI teams hunting cheap H100s, Web3 projects, and even game servers. Revenue hit $1 million in the first quarter of 2025. Proof this engine is running, not just revenue in neutral. Of course, every road has hazards. First, the user experience is still more pit lane than drive through Wallets and command lines are intimidating for some. Token inflation is still a factor until usage catches up. Provider quality varies. Uptime audits help, but a bad host can still throw a rod. And missing those mega exchange listings like Coinbase or Binance means liquidity is capped. Competition? Plenty. Decentralized rivals like Flux, Render, and IO.net are fighting for pole position, while AWS and niche GPU clouds like CoreWeave still own most of the freeway. Akasha's Edge? They're first to combine general purpose compute and AI-grade GPUs in a single open marketplace. Time for Lulu's technical analysis. Lulu, our chart-crushing TA queen, sees key support around $1 even, resistance up near $2. Volume strong, liquidity is solid on major exchanges, and volatility is as spicy as a turbo at Redline. Just remember, Lulu's sharp, but she's a pig, so always wipe the grease off these numbers and do your own research. Let's talk market cap scenarios. Christian pulled the research, Lulu ran the numbers. So here's how it stacks up. If the total crypto market hits 20 trillion, at one half of 1% of that market, you're looking at a $100 billion cap for DPIN and decentralized cloud. If Akash nabs even a fraction, you could see its cap reach 500 million to $1.5 billion. Call it a conservative to pie in the sky scenario. If they really break out and grab a percent and a half of the sector, now you're talking about serious upside. But these are back of the garage napkin numbers. None of this is financial advice. If Lulu's TA is off, remember, she's a pig. But what if the world goes full demolition derby? Here's your black swan pit stop. Imagine strict US regs come down, label most utility tokens as securities, AI hype fizzles and a macro crash dries up capital. The crypto market cap falls below 5 trillion, GPU demand tanks and enterprises run back to familiar AWS lanes. In that world, Akash could skid to a market cap under 500 million with a token price back toward $1.50. 
Long term, the tech survives, but growth is stuck in the pits until the next cycle. So what's the final garage scorecard? Tech stack, nine out of 10, turbocharged and proven. Team, eight. Seasoned drivers, could use a deeper bench. Tokenomics, seven, useful, but inflation is still a fuel leak. Product, eight, live, making money, still tuning that user experience. Community, eight, global, vocal, and full of wrench happy devs. Narrative fit, nine. DPIN and AI are absolutely the hot lane right now. Overall, 8.2. This ride is already running laps. If adoption keeps revving, AKT could be your sleeper pick at the quarter mile. That's the teardown for Kosh Network. If you're into no-nonsense breakdowns like this, hit like, smash subscribe, and share it with a buddy who thinks his stock Civic can gap a Corvette. Drop the next token you want on the lift in the comments, we'll wrench on it. Shout out to Christian for the deep dive research and hats off to Lulu for the TA, even if she is a pig. And if you want more alpha, swing by the website at gurucryptogarage.guru. That's gurucryptogarage.guru, where the engine's always running and the tools are always out. As always, let it rip.